Right then, we are back with a mission. I think we've already... De I think this should be exactly the same as the other set of mission, to be honest, but... We're going to be stealing the mini-sub ready for the offshore version of the Meriwether Heist. We're here with Trevor in his pants, as you do. Um, I think there's only actually one guard here. There was only one guard last time, wasn't there? I was a bit surprised. Oh, there's another one. Um, okay, so... I mean, we might be able to get away with not even killing that one guard. Just sneak on and... Steal the sub. I don't know if that's going to be a special mission to do. Maybe, I don't know. Okay, we've just about avoided him then. He was walking up that walkway. So if we can get down here and we can get the sub unlocked. And we can get it in the water. This is a really quick mission actually when you look at it, isn't it? When you think about it. Just sneak on the ship, hit that. The other part of this is going to be much more difficult. Um, we do need to get the... God, he broke me neck then. Landed on the head first on top of the sub. We need to get a cargo bob, and the only place apparently we can get one of those is Fort Zucundo. So that's going to be quite difficult. Lose the cops is pretty easy. You could just go underwater, didn't you? Uh, where is it we need to go? I can't remember now. We need to go around... Okay, so we're going around this way, aren't we, I think? If I remember correctly from last time... Obviously, they can't find us because we're underwater, so it's pretty easy to do. And then we'll just head over. Of course, we've got to drive this round for Floyd to pick up. Put on the back of the uh, lorry so we can hide it away for a few days. But yeah, getting the cargo bob is going to be a lot more difficult than this, I think. It's a pretty simple mission, really. So we'll just drive this way around. I'm pretty sure it's this way. And hopefully, when we lose the police, I'll be going actually in the right direction. I'm just remembering from last time. Which was only a couple of missions ago, so I should know, really. Right, so we're nearly there. Uh, around this bend. Surely the police are going to lose us pretty soon. We're underwater. The police have got no chance. There we go. Yeah, go to the extraction point. It's more or less where I'm driving to, is it? Yeah. It's a fair old journey in this sub. It's a pretty boring mission when you look at it, isn't it? There's a dolphin swim past. That submarine we talked about. you got to help me store it for a few days. Floyd, don't go quiet on me or I'll come around and, and I'll, well, we both know what I'm talking about. Okay, um, all right. D -d Bring it around to Pier 400 at the Western Docks. On my way. Look, uh, I'll have a truck to bring you around the warehouse. What's this? The Union man doing an honest day's work? There's nothing honest about this, sir. But this is a dishonest day's work, if ever I've seen one. Hey, we're not hurting anyone. No, but no one except whoever owns that submarine and the, and the mercenary folks on the freighter. Do some research on Meriwether Security Consulting, friend. They'd be on trial for human rights offenses if the U.S. government didn't protect all its contractors from any kind of suit, military or civilian. They're immune from prosecution, and they behave like they are. Murdering, stealing, high on power guns and anabolic steroids. <sighs> Lucky bastards. Look, I don't know about that stuff. Oh, you're right. You don't. Merryweather are employed by the richest, greediest scum on the planet to shit on the poorest and the neediest. So we are going to enjoy shitting on them. No oh, great. Well, I'm oh, a crutch. Okay, well that's more like it. Right, poor old Floyd, eh? Poor old Floyd. Trevor just knows how to find these really vulnerable people and take full full advantage of the situation. I mean, it works pretty well. Obviously, unfortunately, there's no money involved in this mission for us. But I'm pretty sure we do go into another heist pretty soon after this, I think. Because I believe we have to do the FIB heist, but we have to do another heist first to earn all the money to do the FIB heist. So, um, I think it's a Palito Bay bank heist. Either way, we should get some more money in the bank pretty soon. Trevor's pretty rich, actually, because I did a lot of the air and land missions with him when we brought the airfield. So I think I've got about 250k here on Trevor. Um, plus, once we get around to doing that mission for Franklin, finally, uh, with Lester, we do the uh, the stock market missions. Once we do those, obviously, we'll get a lot of people extra money. We can almost double our money on those ones. All right. I 
I'm on the surface, Floyd. Give me a lift. Good lad. I mean, just in the sub must be worth a few quid when you think about it. How much money is a submarine worth these days? Does anyone know? That would be a really weird thing for you guys to know if you did know how much a submarine was. I don't know why, it just seems like such an odd piece of information to know, really. Right, do we have to drive the truck? I love the way they've just like stuck a blanket over it, thinking that's going to hide it. Like, there's, there's, that's literally done nothing. I love the way that Trevor's still in his pants as well. <laughs> You've got all the tattoos I've given him. I've given him a tattoo in every possible area we could as well. It's just down the road. Los Santos Marine, past the shipyards. Right, so drive this up to the warehouse now then. Is that sub covered properly? It'll be fine if we just get there. Are you being short with me? No, 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 sir. I, I'm certainly not being short. I'm just not used to this kind of pressure. If you turn a crew onto a score, you got to be ready for the heat that comes with it. I didn't turn anyone on to anything. You threatened and cajoled and tricked me. You don't want to cut. Just walk away. I can't walk away. You're robbing my workplace and running the show from also my home. skull fuck Mr. Raspberry Jam. Uh, you can park it there. I'm trying this. Laurie's got a terrible turning circle. There we go. There we go, we'll pack that up there. Next up, then we need to get ourselves a cargo bob. That should be a bit more difficult for us then, because we need to get all the way up to Fort Zakundo, I believe. And we'll get that cargo bob ready. And then, as soon as we've got that sorted, we are ready to go off. And we are ready to uh, hit up the heist, the offshore version. I can't steal this truck, can I? Right, I'm going to see how far Floyd will take me this time. I fell out last time. Come on, Floyd, take me. Take me, Floyd. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> there we go, mission passed. Mini sub achieved. Next up then, tomorrow, we'll try and get ourselves a cargo bob, which is going to be a lot more difficult. Uh, which car should we take? Is that lorry driver? That looks like a really weird little lorry. I don't think I've seen one of these before. It's like a miniature lorry. Can I steal that? I can steal that. That's cool. Right, so Fort Zakundo is the next target. Uh, I will head up there and I'll see you tomorrow as we attempt to get ourselves a cargo bob while I'm driving this weird little half lorry. Ooh, it's got a bit of speed to it, actually. Nice.